Hi, it's Clayton from Australian Direct and the founder of Kickhouse Products. And if you didn't know already, I'm a nerd. That's how I started the business. And I've been looking to make an outdoor cinema solution for our customers that's simple, uh, effective, and that works. And it's taken me quite some time. Now, the heart of our cinema solution is the Kickass projector. I didn't make the decision to sell this projector lightly. Before I decided on this projector, I bought a stack of different projectors online and they all looked really cool. All of these, this is just some of the ones that I purchased. I purchased heaps of them. They advertised Android built in, inbuilt batteries, they had Bluetooth connections and an array of other features. And unfortunately, one by one, they all let me down. The Bluetooth wouldn't connect, still wouldn't connect. When it did connect, it kept, kept cutting out. The Android would crash, it would crash again. All of the functions they advertised were hit and miss at best. And I kept trying and kept trying and went, what people really need is a simple projector that's easy to use and it just works. And I finally found it and that is this projector. So I'm going to run you through why I've chosen this projector and why I think it is such a great projector to be part of our outdoor cinema solution. What really sold me on this projector is just how simple and easy it is to use, especially in comparison to the myriad of others I tried. If you want to focus, just slide this dial from side to side. Keystone, side to side. You've got buttons on the projector itself. And yes, the projector does come with its own remote control. But what about when the kids lose it or you lose it? Then you're up projector creek without a paddle, one could say. Not with this one. You've got all of your buttons built in. This is so important when you're camping because you just want to get that movie on or those photos up on the screen without mucking around. That is why I have chosen this unit. The simplicity extends itself to the inbuilt software which is intuitive and easy to use. It will allow you to watch movies, load up your favorite photos and even show PDF documents. It can all be controlled by the onboard keypad or via the remote control. Now let's talk about connection options. The most important input on the unit is of course the DC input which is 19 volts and we have an AC adapter which plugs into that so you can run it from your power at home or an inverter if you like. If you want to run from 12 volt we do have a 12 volt DC adapter as an optional accessory. Alright it's time to get nerdy and here's where I save you a lot of time because I've spent a lot of time playing with all the different connection options and I can say that I know what I'm talking about. Let's get started. The easiest option is obviously an SD card. Put your movies on it. I can't tell you how to get movies, but put your movies on it and it simply clips into the side, nice and flush, away you go. Super reliable, it's not gonna let you down. USB stick, same thing, load it up, stick it into the side of the unit and away you go. Now, if you've got a HDMI cable, you can connect that up to your laptop or any other device, plug it straight into the HDMI. Once again, fail safe, simple, and it's gonna work. Now, let's get a little bit more tricky now for connecting to phones and that kind of thing, different laptops. For example, here's a little adapter for a Mac laptop, and it's got a special port on one end to HDMI. Now, there's a heap of these adapters around, whether it be for a Mac laptop, whether it be for a PC, I've got some for my Android phone, which are USB-C to HDMI. There's iPhone to HDMI adapters, and these are a really fail-safe option as well. You can plug that into a HDMI cable and straight into the side of the projector. Now, I talked earlier that the unit does come with a little mirroring uh, Wi-Fi dongle, and it does work, but it's very, very fiddly. If you can get the adapter and plug it in with a cable, it's just much, much simpler and less mucking around. If you haven't heard of Chromecast, trust me, it's awesome. Everybody I show uh, Chromecast loves it. It's a Google device. They're around $60, don't quote me on that. This device uh, is normally used at home, um, but I found a workaround so you can use it for camping. If you wanna stream videos when you're camping and you've got good mobile signal, this is the way to go. It does take a nerdy person to set it up. It's a little bit of playing around to get it going, but once you have got it going, Winner, winner, chicken dinner, watch your projector, have fun. They're a great way to cast uh, videos uh, and you can play music through uh, a lot of different apps through that. So check out uh, the Chromecast device. It's a little bit of mucking around when you set it up because normally you have a Wi-Fi network at home, 
Um, so what you need to use is two mobile phones, setting one up as the hotspot, but we'll put a link in the description of how to set that up. Just check it out on YouTube what these devices are. You want to cast, you can't go past the Google Chromecast. When it comes to audio, this unit has a 3.5 millimeter audio out and it comes with, and I'm very fussy about this, I've handpicked this, a 2.5 meter high quality audio cable. Now the unit does have a built-in speaker, but if you want a really amazing sound, you can plug it into your portable speaker. Now most portable speakers on the market have a 3.5 audio input. It's super easy to connect to it, and you can even connect it up to your car's audio input if it has an auxiliary input. So that's nice and simple to do. I'm now going to show you what comes when you buy the projector on its own, and then I'm going to run you through the optional accessories. So of course, when you buy the projector, you get the projector. It comes with a little stabilizing leg, so you can use it just bounce it on the table. Um, that does come out, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that later. You have a 2.5 meter, 3.5 mil audio jack for connecting up to your Bluetooth speakers or to your car. You've got your remote control, your AC adapter, and you also have the little mirror Wi-Fi adapter included. This is what you get when you buy the projector. Now let's get into the accessories. In front of me, I have two optional accessories for powering your projector. As you know, your projector already comes with an AC adapter. So if you're plugging it into a mains outlet or if you've got a pure sine wave inverter in your camping setup, you're already set to go. But if you want to set it up as a portable system, this handy pack is awesome. It's lithium powered, it's got two AC outputs, you've got USBs for charging mobile phones and that kind of thing. It also has a 12 volt cigarette adapter and the AC adapter that comes with the projector will plug straight into it. If you want to run from 12 volt, such as a battery pack, we have a 12 volt adapter. It has a cigarette lighter plug on one end and a 19 volt output on the other end. And the really cool thing about this is it has two USB outputs, so you can charge up your mobile phones or power your portable speaker. The next optional accessory is super useful, and that's from experience. It's our projector tripod. Now it comes in a nice little carry bag. Now what's so good about this is it allows you to basically put the projector anywhere which makes it super portable. But the other thing I showed you before, the projector has a little screw to adjust it up and down, but all projectors don't have a side to side adjustment. So if you're putting it on a camping table or that kind of thing, it's really hard to get it straight and level. This takes that problem away. You get portability, it's got a little bubble to let you know when it's all ready to go, set your projector up, it just makes things easy. And you know what, it's not expensive if I was you. I would definitely get one of these. For me, this projector bag, which I've designed specifically for the projector and its accessories is a must have. I'm selling this as an optional accessory because it's a very, very good bag for people who can see the value in keeping everything together. Now you see it's got two compartments. I'll just open it from down here. And the first one is padded and the projector fits perfectly in there. See these nice little Velcro straps. So we'll just zip that up. The important thing is you've got USB adapters, you've got cables, and you want to keep it all in one place. So you'll see at the top here, this little mesh section, I can put all of my adapters, USB sticks, Google Chromecast, Google Chromecast is the best, uh, SD card, remote control, audio cable. It all fits really, really nicely in this pocket. And then for your AC adapter, your 12 volt adapter, if you've got one, that fits nicely into this Velcro section. And as you'll see, it just all fits easily. You don't have to squeeze things into the bag. It keeps everything together. It's got a nice carry handle and it even has a carry strap here that you can carry it with as well. This is the projector bag and I definitely suggest you grab one of these. Now for the final piece of the puzzle, cinema screens, because no cinema kit would be complete without them. The first option are our fabric style eyelet screens. Now these are super versatile and affordable. You can string them up between a couple of trees, put them inside of your annex, your gazebo, tie them into your awning. The possibilities are endless. They're a really great and affordable item and they're available in three sizes. Now we have the metal frame screen. This is more of a one-time setup used for home applications around the pool or inside of the house where the screen is all set up in a freestanding frame. Now the big kahuna and my favorite which I've designed myself is our blow up screen. These things just look the part. They're super tough. They blow up and they don't need a motor to keep them full. Now most 
if not all of the screens on the market need a blower fan running constantly to keep them blown up and they've got a very light fabric. This is super heavy duty material. Once you blow it up, it stays up, it's super tough. And as you can see here in the video, you know, when people see them, they wanna punch them and knock them around because they look like a punching bag. This is the real deal. Not only that, they look cool. You set this up in your campground, you're gonna have kids stopping on their bike, going, are you having a movie tonight? People are gonna compliment you on your awesome setup. It really is a quality product. It comes in a heavy duty carry bag. There's no expenses barred there. It also has another bag inside, which includes your guy wires, your uh, tent pegs and everything you need to get this kit set up. It's an awesome product and if you want to show off, you want to look cool, this is the way to go. Now that rounds out the Kick-Ass Outdoor Cinema Solution. You can see that I've done a lot of work to gather together a range of products that make all different kinds of outdoor cinema setups possible. You can choose the parts that you want. Now, if you need more help, please check the individual product listings where you'll find more how-to videos and specifications and details about each product. And by all means, feel free to have an online chat, give us a call or send us an email. And most importantly, I hope you have a hell of a lot of fun with your outdoor kick-ass cinema. Thanks for watching.